we try to do, and I say try to do because some of this is a little bit convoluted, a DFS demonstration here. I've, already got, I've got a DFS set up here, distributed file system management, that we can look at. I have a namespace, Bintech local course files, and it's going and checking everything out. It has two shares, INSTR two share and INSTR share. Those are on the two different servers. One of them is named MSN Instructor, MSN Instructor 2. So the two is on the two, and, and the uh, one is on, or the, the regular one is on the other one. And this is, I think this is the two. Where do I go? Okay, this is MSN INSTR2. I've set this thing up also to do some sharing. Well, the replication is down here, and if you look in the replication, replicated folder INSTR2 share, two items. It's C colon, replicate new folder in the MSN INSTR instruction, and then it's physically on this server. Also have the INSTR share, which is on the INSTR instructor or the INSTR machine, which is the remote one. But it's stored locally on this server in the replicate folder. And if we go into the file structure of this thing, I do replicate INSTR share. And there is a file here that says test. This is test of replication too. I think what to, to do to show this let me jump over onto the other server here real quickly and go into it, computer, and then in the, uh, not the in class, the INSTR share test. I'll just put a new, another, another document in here, a test document demo. just to have something there. Save it, close it, and then go back to this one. And now go into the, I had in replicate, and there's my demo doc. Like I said, this, these things are faster. These are much faster than they used to be in the replication. So by the time I could get in this virtual machine from one to the other, it had been replicated. Yes, there's not any traffic to prevent that. Yes, it is rel relative, relatively very quickly. What this means is these two servers could be in different physical locations and you could replicate the documents back and forth. When we go to look at it, let's look at the share backslash backslash I'm Ben Tech I00 dot local backslash course files. When I go to there, that's the share. I could share that. I now have, there's nothing in that one, but I now have these two shared folders that are on different servers that appear to be under the same root. I could use the net share command, the net use command, excuse me, the net use command and map a drive letter to those. Actually, let's see if I can do that. Let's see if I can mess that up. Net use. And if you don't know what the drive letter is, use star. It will use the next available one. I think it actually starts in the back one. Backslash, backslash, and this was bin tech, T-E-E-C-H, I-0-0. Zero, zero. Okay. i sorry. I zero zero dot local backslash course files, right? Oh, no wonder it didn't work. Binitech can't find that, and it told me that it couldn't find that too, right? Now it completed successfully. It says it's Z, so I could go to Z colon <coughs> dir, and I have my two shares. That's how that works. That's how you consolidate those things. And you saw that the shares are on different servers. Now they appear to be on the same server. How are you going to make this thing work for you? Let me go through that hopefully quickly. First thing we need to do is go in here and make a new namespace. And then we pick the server that we want the namespace on and just find 
And since this is not the domain controller, I have to tell it that. This is this is the server, so this is INSTR2, right? Isn't that, isn't that what we decided this one was? Okay, on it. So the server, next, wait, next, wait. The name that we're going to call the namespace, and let's call it class demo. I, I, I've done several of these and, and going to edit settings and this is this is going to be in C colon DFS roots class demo. You can change the location if you want. You can also change the permissions here if you want. The default permission is all users have read only. We can change administrators have full access, others have read only. Let's see if we can do that. Because that's kind of what you would probably want, I think. So enable Windows Server 2008 mode, and there are some advantages for DFS for Server 2008 mode. So we're going to change this thing. We're going to enable that when we do these. And then next, and we have, hopefully, as we wait for it, created the namespace. After we create the namespace, we're going to have to add folders to it. OK, so the namespace is created. And we have this really cool namespace called class demo. There's nothing in class demo. So now we would go in here, new folder. Let's call it, let's call it uh, server two, just so we know that, that it's going to be on the instructor two folder, because I've already named some of my str2, I think. Go in and add, browse, and we just simply add. We don't have a share here. I'm a, I do have a share. I call it in class two. So we will do that one. I don't think it's anything else. You can't add a share to more than one location. So we have that one. We now have this one folder in here. Let's add, not a namespace, a new folder. Name, we'll call it server, because it will be on the other one. Going to add. And then we'll go into Browse. Since I don't have, or actually I think I could probably just go in here and take the one off, show the shared folders, I'm now looking at the other server. So I don't have an in-class here, do I? So we can go in here, the new shared folder, and call it. And I think this one's probably going to make a mess. I'm probably going to make a mess out of it because I think it's going to think it's already there. Browse. And we'll call this one in class. So it made the share for me. OK. And now I have these two folders, but I haven't replicated anything yet. But I've made the share point, and if I didn't want to replicate them from one location to the other, I'd be done. And I could use the backslash backslash bintech i00 dot local backslash class demo and we would have a namespace that would have those folders in it. If I want to create replication, I'll go down here and add a new replication group, I hope. And we'll call it class demo. And it's in the domain bintech I00 local. If we go into the browse, it's the only domain that's available. If there are other domains in this forest, we could pick any of those because they do have to be in the forest. <clears throat> now we're going to add the server. Administrator password one, and that's on. Let's, let's pick the INSTR2 machine first. So we've added that server. Actually, we're not added that server because we have to add the other one also. Because we're picking the servers that are going to replicate. And already picked instructor two, so now we pick instructor. <coughs> These are the servers and that we want to be in the replication, the replication group members who we're going to replicate to. 
And since it's someplace else, it's got to do its Windows thing and check to be sure it really is someplace and it really is real. And they just love to use those little things that go back and forth. So next, we'll pick a full mesh. If we had three or more machines, we could pick hover and spoke. But since we only have two, there's no real hover and spoke, it's going to be a full mesh. If you had several machines you wanted full mesh, you could do that. But again, keep in mind, when you start doing full mesh, that becomes a real disaster if you get more than about, I think, about three or four. He says the one guy, of course, that I took said eight or nine. I think eight or nine would be, I'd go crazy if I tried to do a full mesh with eight or nine machines. Or you can pick no topology here. The bandwidth, you can control how much bandwidth that the replication is going to use. I'm just going to leave it at full here. The primary member, and I'm going to pick INSTR2 because that's where I'm going to pick the first folder from. The local path will go into browse, and my local path here was in class, wasn't it? Was, I saw it, in class 2, okay. And now I'll go to next, and now then, we can go in here and edit this thing. We need to enable the local path, INSTR, which is going to be the remote server. Where are we going to replicate this to? Because we picked the folder that we want to replicate, now where are we going to replicate it to? So I should be able to go in here and browse, and in the C drive, and I picked this folder, I made my new folder called replicate. We can make, make a folder, we're supposed to be able to make, replicate, Folder, let's make a new folder called, let's see if I have one here, new folder, I don't want to do a new folder, let's try in class, in class, just for the heck of it, well that didn't work so well, did it, made a new folder too, no, let's see, anyway, we'll say okay, we'll use the new folder too to replicate it too, you can make your structure before you start if you want. So I have turned that one on, create, close. So in my replication in the class demo, I have these two. New replicated folders, let's go the other way. Let's take the one from the instructor, local path, browse, and now as we're on the instructor machine, this was the in class, right? The other one was the in class two. Does that, does that sound right? And then on MSN, INSTR2 is disabled. We need to go in here, enable it, and find a place for it to go. And you notice you can do kind of whatever you want in these things. Oh, yeah, I got to name it here. That's, that's where I messed up. I got to name it here, right? And with this one will be in class because that's the name of the folder that we're replicating from. Next, create. And so we should have our replication topology done. Let's go to, let's see if, let's see if I, see how bad I messed this up. It's not INST, this is in class, right? In class two, let's go make a new text document called in class, and I don't put any text in it because all we want to see is if the document full or not. Goes to this other server over here, which is the night server that you can't see on your desktop there. And let's see if I actually created this thing right because we made it in the replicate folder, right? And in the new folder, and it's Oh, I see. We need to add, once we get over on this other one, we need to add the replication. Actually, we don't need to add the replication groups. What we need to do is to show the replication groups. We can add a replication group to the topology, and this is called class demo. And we need to remove, delegate, new folder, show. Show, new namespace. Add the namespace to the display. I can't see these things up front, which are class demo. And the course files, 
we may need to go in here and actually make these things replicate, replicated folders. Published to namespace. Let's see if, if in this flailing around here, and I didn't get it to replicate, go back and resume. They're not been published yet. They haven't been shared in the new location. So I can go in here. Share and publish in the namespace, share and publish. Use the existing and create the share. The initial share is there. But I need to, and I can change the folders, I need to publish the uh, parent folder in the namespace. I can do the browse here, Bentec, the, the parent namespace. These are the course demos, right? and create create the shares or publish the shares. Now I have the same thing with the in class two. And it's going to be the same issue that the instructor one, and again we can change the permissions here if we want as we publish these things. Browse and the namespace is going to still be the course demo. And you notice there are several namespaces there. You can have multiple namespaces. And now let's see if we can make this thing do what we want. After they're published, we made a couple of couple of files here, demo two and in class, and we're on the night six, which is the well, I'm in the replicate, the night six. Let's see if we can go in here, demo and in class. In the in class two folder on the on the eight, well let's put another one in here. A new Let's try a folder, demo folder, and we could create the structure in here. So now I should be able to go to nights and do a refresh, and now I have the folder. It is relatively quick, and what I said, when it goes around, kind of goes around the world. There are a number of steps that you have to do. It's not as automatic as some of the Windows things are, but you're only going to set up the replications probably one time. You'll set up the folders to replicate, then you put content in and put folders in the replicated folders. And as changes get made, they get replicated to the new server, new location, wherever you want these things to be. So you can do them that way. Have your redundancy. The advantage to this would be if one of those servers were to crash, we can still get to the resources, even if they were in different sites. It would be across the WAN link, but even if they were in different sites. And the one in our site crashed, so I can't get there. It could go to that Active Directory resource and still get access to the material. So that's one of the things that you can keep your network running by using DFS and using the domain shares. Are there questions? Because it did, it did finally replicate, right? So we got that one done. Going once, going twice. I have asked you to do something similar to this, not actually replicate the folders, but set up a namespace in the uh, in the lab. So that shouldn't be that difficult. Set up the namespace and then add the folders to it. What it's going to do is show them in the same location. Okay, thanks. Go ahead and get the, get to.